Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Become a white magician. All the magic you possess is based on your word. You can cast spells all the time with your word, with your opinions. You can either put a spell on someone with your word, or you can release someone from a spell. It's a tough one to understand. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 92. That's after being down 177. What do you got with the Dow Industrials? Dow Industrials go into the May 19th swing point. Gets to the high of the swing, rejects it. We do 891 million versus the swing of 949. Dow is gonna, well, it bounced, wants to bounce higher. NASDAQ Composite down nine bucks. S&P's up, uh, NASDAQ Composite up nine dollars. S&P's up seven. Divergence, folks. Both of those lower price have volume. We'll go through those. They still want lower price. Gold contract, you're talking about volatility, we're up $30, we closed down $470. What does it have? Higher price, huge volume, gold's going back topside. Silver, same setup in silver, silver's up at the $18 level, closed out at $17.22. Has the volume at the highs, wants higher price. Copper, copper down three, six, three, three and a half pennies at 205 a pound. Light sweet crude got clocked, that's down $2. $46. That looks like it's making its way down to the $44 area. Notes and bonds. 10-year note up two ticks, 132.04. 30-year bond up 22 ticks, 169.29. Both the notes and the bonds want higher price. Free money. We have it all over the place. King dollar. King dollar, high volatility also. That was up 700 ticks. Ended up being up 10 ticks, 94.69. King dollar wants lower price. Bottom line, it couldn't make it to its swing point, which is a bearish occurrence. Had decent volume behind it, but guess what? You can't make it to that swing point. You give it up like that, you're going to the lower swing point. Euro. Euro is trading at $1.12, and the yen is trading at $1.04. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have in there? So here's the deviance, folks. Your cash S&P got down to 2050, rejected it, closed at 2077. If I put the SPY up, what you're going to see is this, is that we got to lower price. You had higher volume, we did 145 million. The B point on this ABC structure on the way down is $206.91. We broke it, and we broke it with volume. This is going to set up a complex ABC structure on the way down. So you broke the B point, had the volume on the break. You know, can we... You bounce up to the highs of yesterday. Yes, you can. 209.36. Bottom line, though, you get a high, you get a lower low. You have the v juice behind it. Huge volume. This is going to make its way down to the 202 to 204 area, and we're 208.37. NDX 100. Same setup in the NDX 100. What we have with the NDX is this. You did 30 million shares. You broke that B point, which had 25 million. Same type of setup, complex ABC structure on the way down. That wants to run into the 104 to 105. Now, Dow Industrials is different. This is why. Here's the divergence. Dow Industrials got down to 17,471. So it got down to the swing point. The swing point we're talking about is on May 19th. That, the high of the swing was 17,514. And we did... 891 million versus that swing point of 949. It rejected it, had lighter volume, and that sets up that the Dow can actually get up into, um, it can go up a couple hundred points. You know, we'll see where that shakes out, but that's how that sets up. Gold contract, what do we have with gold? Gold had the wide price spread, accelerated volume, all of the above, folks. We did 332,000 contracts. You're gonna see gold go topside ASAP. We broke the swing points, we broke them with volume. Uh, gave it up on price. Um, the GLD is an ABC structure on the way up. That got up to a price point of 125.67 today. Did 25 million shares. 
blew away the B point of 19 million. That price projection is 138 inside the GLD. Bonds, what do we have with the bond market? Bottom line, notes and bonds want higher price. Uh, the 10 year note, we did 101.4 million contracts. You got to 132.22, you can pull back a little, but that once again wants higher price. The 30-year bond is just to the moon. It's pretty amazing uh, watching this 30-year bond. So the 30-year bond today got as high as 171.07. We've done 309,000 contracts. We closed at 169.29. Uh, that, if we put up the continuous contract, we're at 171. And what you're going to see is that you are at all-time highs. That's the bottom line. Yield-wise, this is where we stand. On the 10-year, you're dealing with a 1.5. On the 30-year, um, this is pretty amazing. This is our U.S. bonds. On the 30-year, you're dealing with a 2.39. Check that out. It's under 4%. Pretty, uh, under 2.4%. King dollar. What do we have with King dollar? We take a look at King dollar. Uh, King dollar gave it up on spades out here, uh, as did the gold market. Uh, they both moved the same way today, which is really unusual. Um, I suspect that'll change, but it didn't have change today. So this is what we have. King dollar got to a price point of 95.53. You did 40,000 contracts. It closed out at 94.69. Now this is the problem with King dollar. King dollar didn't make it to the downdraft that had been created out there on June 3rd. The high of that is $95.64. What happens, folks, is that when you get an acceleration of the volume, which we did today, it was, a, it was a nice move, and you don't make it to the swing on account of trend bounce, that, that's a problem. So now what we're going to see is that how is it going to go into the lowest swing, which the, lo the first lowest swing is the low from last week, which is 93.38. You know, we'll see how that shakes out, but uh, it looks to me like not only it's going to get into that area, I expect what you're going to see is that we're actually going to get into the 92 area, and the 92 area is the, lo the swing low from this contract where the last contract we were trading at 91.88. That's where this uh, baby looks like it wants to go. Oil, we take a look at the oil market. Oil, uh, came down, it had wide price spread, had, had the volume, had all of the above. We did 478,000 contracts on the way down. You're trading at $46. This is making its way down to the 43.65 area. You stay right there, folks. Um, I'm Mr. Chris Gaffney is going to be coming back. We're going to be talking about the new Market Safe Currency Comeback CD from Era Bank. Uh, you can check it out uh, on the break. Just go to TFNN. You're going to see it right on the top of the carousel. We're going to be walking you through this CD. Stay right there. Come right back, folks.